Now, okay. let's let's jump into this is one of the things you are passionate about. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about faith and media. Mm -hmm. Right? So what is the role of faith in media and what is the role of media in faith? I know that this one, in fact, I'm going to mute my mic off my video. Leave this place for you. Use this man. Use this man. Yeah, you are trying to do something and I will not let it happen. <laughs> What's he yeah, moving? Yeah, I try to do something and I will not let it happen. But I'll answer your question like like yesterday did not happen. Okay. I'll try. Okay. So media and faith and this is why I was dragged yesterday, obviously. Just pointing out the fact that the media informs us. Mm. The media does. Okay, let me ask you a question. How did you know that abroad, before you ever traveled abroad, oh, how did you know that, oh, abroad, oh, if you over speed like this, you will get a ticket at home? God bless you. How did you know that in abroad prisons, for example, that some men used to sleep with other men without ever being there? Mm. Media, media, uh -huh. media. Do you get it now? How did you know many things that we have you ever seen a Nigerian arguing with you about what happens abroad and they've never been there? Of course, a lot of times ah, you, you cannot kill abroad and go scot free. Eh? The police they will get you because they will investigate. Really this kind of they thing will, happens. They have CCTV camera that will pick everybody's face. And then, how did they know that mm. movies? Only even though every street abroad does have CCTV cameras, mm. you know, and so like it or not, the media informs what we believe, mm. like it or not. And to ignore this is to be utterly stupid, completely mm. foolish, and ignoramus. And wow, I'm not even watching my words, you are delusional to ignore obvious fact you grew up liking tall and dark men you grew up liking very, very slim and uh, slim sized ladies because the media showed you that they were beautiful mm. so how do people you know begin to crush on 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 certain types of women magazines started bringing them out put them on the front page tag them the most beautiful when you look at beauty pageants there are types of women you begin to tell yourself that's beautiful and then when you see a woman that is not that you say oh you're not fine and so, mm. so i don't want to stress about how media informs us but guess what it informs what we think we believe to because many people don't always read their bibles mm. and this is the saddest part many people don't read their bibles mm. and so just the same way christians sometimes just believe certain things because the pastor once said it. I never really read in the Bible, you know. Mm. As simple as that. That's how the media also influences people. Mm. Yesterday when I talked about the movie Breath of Life, you know, on Instagram when I dropped it, someone said, oh, very true. I was watching this movie with my Muslim roommate. I saw that. And she asked me, are pastors allowed to be in the pool like this with a woman, she said she shouted, no! <laughs> a Muslim was watching that video, subconsciously is telling you that this is what Christians, because the movie was all about the church, God, a man that believed, you say it wasn't called a pastor. Okay, what was it called? An Ifa priest. <laughs> <laughs> so, a Muslim saw that and was not asking, are pastors allowed to do this? She was not even, mm. she had not even heard a message on media influences. She's just influenced and she's asking. Mm. A pastor is. So, my man, she Yeah. Ah, okay. she pastor is a man. Do you understand? <laughs> you just wonder. And so, all I said was that you should make sure that when you, it was not a pastor. Okay, he was a child of God. Chantel, he <laughs> was a child of God. Is a child of God allowed to do that? Quit all the unnecessary. Uh, debate and defense not bashing the movie the movie was good in terms of editing videography i the first statement i made there was it was a great movie all right mm -hmm. i 
just said it's not a Christian movie. You might think it is. I'm just stating it obviously. Oh, some people say that, oh, they never said it was a Christian movie. Yes, I never said it either. I'm reminding you that it's not. And so you cannot say that. You want to ignore the fact that the movie depicted Christians a type of way. That's delusional. And see, and it doesn't mean that Christians shouldn't don't do that. The point here is that I'm reminding Christians that just in case you are beginning to think that's okay, it's not okay. That's all. Why do you have a problem with that? And so to answer your question, faith must influence media. And until we get to the point where we have the capacity, because the devil is <laughs> is the priest of this world, if you know how much they are pumping into media, you will be shocked. And so while we don't have that capacity and we are growing, Christians should come together till we all come to the unity of the faith, right? We need to come unanimously and begin to build narratives, create movies, create entertainment, create cartoons that our children can watch. I told somebody, if we don't speak up and also do something, it's not enough to speak. All what I did yesterday was speaking. But, you know, we must continue to do something by creating content. If we don't do that, we'll get back to the days where we don't turn on, turn on, our, turn on our TV because mm. we believe that it's a devil's box. Mm. Because there's no, no channel you will turn to and you are sure your children will not be exposed to nonsense. Mm. If we don't create what we can watch. And so faith must influence media to the largest, to the best of its ability. And until that comes, you must at least know. You must at least know your God, know the values that you have. And so when you see something that, that is wrong, tell yourself, uh-uh. You know, mm. I mean, I've watched several movies in my life. Did it mean that I acted the way they acted? No, because I knew that is wrong. You understand? Mm. But you see, many Christians who are struggling with fornication, who are struggling to believe that kissing before marriage is, is not right, is right, who are struggling should a Christian drink, who are struggling with, oh, I love this girl, but she doesn't really believe in God, or I love this guy, but he's a Muslim, and she, you know, they will be validated with that movie. I put it to you. Something mm. will tell them that, eh, hey, look now, they will not even know that that's happening to them. And, mm. and, and so we cannot, like I said, to ignore the impact of media is to be utterly delusional. Mm. Utterly delusional. Mm.